Good morrow to thee, citizen. It's a time of year when Americans count our blessings and give thanks. And I'm thankful for so many things. Capaldi is the new doctor. There's going to be another Evil Dead movie with Bruce Campbell. And a new Game of Thrones book is coming out. Someday. Maybe. And I'll just come right out and say it. I'm glad that Futurama got canceled. Again. That's right, I said it. I was a super fan. Watched every episode repeatedly. Deciphered the alien languages, both of them, teared up whenever I heard the name Seymour. But I'm glad it's now going off the air. See, the last few episodes were fantastic. A second cancellation means it goes out on a high note and won't suffer a slow decline like The Simpsons which should have remembered to file a do not resuscitate order with the doctors before going to the hospital. I for one believe that we in the geek American community should be more inclined to celebrate when a show ends before it's time. See, ever since B. Joe Trimble spearheaded a letter writing campaign to save the original Star Trek, nerds have been known for their grassroots campaigns to rescue shows on the verge of cancellation. If not for B. Joe, there'd be no Tholian web that Captain Kirk is no longer alive. No all our yesterdays. No Enterprise incident. I instinctively used the Vulcan death grip. But there'd also be no Spock's brain. Ugh. Come on, Bones, what's the mystery? His brain is gone. What have you done with Spock's brain? And that's my point. Off times, less is more. My favorite series is The Prisoner, which called it quits after a scant 17 episodes. Do, 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 do. Oh, look at the, look at the super secret agent. What is he doing? Uh, he's resigning, but why? Only he knows. But during that brief run, it managed to explore every angle of its premise. Dream episode, evil twin episode, body swapping episode, spy spoof episode, even a Wild West episode before wrapping everything up with a satisfyingly trippy ending. Maybe it's a good thing that Firefly came to an end after one skimpy season. What if subsequent seasons diminished our good feelings about the show? Like, ugh, like heroes. See, I prefer two seasons of Twin Peaks with an agonizing lack of closure to however many seasons of Lost there were before or the dark times. Which is why I'm starting a letter writing campaign to get NBC to cancel community again. Who's with me? Th Come on, you'll be thankful next year. Ah! Stop it, not the face. Search your heart, you know it to be true. What much love show would you like to see get the ax? Let me know in the comments.